Hi, I'm Kira, and this is What the Fuckle, where I answer your questions about the Irish language. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about compound words and kind of making up your own words using prefixes. So the Irish word for a compound word is co -uckle. And the word itself is a co -uckle. So you make a compound word when you join two words together. And um, in Irish, in the Irish, co means like co, like it does in English, kind of means like joint or also. So like to join something together. And then fuckle means a word. So co uckle is like a joined up word. I guess shine on compound word. And that's a compound word. So in this video, I want to go through some commonly used kind of prefixes and tell you about how these words are made and what they're made up of. Some prefixes will be used kind of, they're, only, they're not a word in their own right. It would just be like, say, am I father? That means like um, dis or miss or un. So if I said me and then I added it to the word tishkind, so tishkind means understanding. So if I put me and tishkind together, I'd be left with me hishkind, which means a misunderstanding. So you wouldn't really see me on its own though. So that's what I'm saying. But sometimes when you're making a compound word, what I will call what would I would call a prefix would actually be a word in its own right. So say for example, shan, which means old, um, and then ban means woman. When you put them together, you get shan van, which is an old woman. Um, I guess just tashe kutinta. It's it's common to be able to kind of make one word out of things in Irish, and then because of that, it's you can also kind of look at a word if it's a big long word. You can kind of look at it and break it up into the different kind of component parts. So it helps you to understand it. So that's why I'm a big fan of looking at words and breaking them up in this way. So the best thing to do is probably to show you words that are made up of smaller words put together and just how the process works in Irish. So um, droch means bad, so um, if you had a story to tell someone, like a piece of news, you'd say, oh, skeilagum. but if it was a bad one, you'd say, I have, a bad, I have bad news, and that would just be D-O-R-O-C-H-S-C-E-F-A-D-A-L, skeil. If, if you had a good story, you'd say, skeilagum. so that would be D-E-A, fleshkin, which is a dash, S-C-E-F-A-D-A-L. So, jashgeil, ta jashgeilagum. And I always want to put a, an, a father on the a ah in ja, but it's not there. Every time I have to go look for it every single time. Beder gamin je gachanunach. Then we have on, then with the dash after it. So that's like an intensifier. It just means very. But if you use it with the noun, it means like good. So if you have um, a car and you say, oh, it's on the car a, so a n dash c h a or or, that means it's a great car. On car. Um, but if you're from, you might put in kind of um, an, an, a helper vowel in between the A-N, in between the A-N and the start of the next word. So ana, you'd say, instead of just an har, brahanshe. Um, then we have the prefix ro or o fada. So that means too much. I think people get a little bit confused with this one sometimes and they think that it means very, but it means too much. So so if I say to you, oh, tatu ro rahul, it means you're too good looking. Um, but if I say tatu ro va, yeah, you're too good. Um, but it doesn't mean very, it means too much. Tame ro hyan of a hedain of narodishin. I'm too old to be doing those things. What's up, Brammy? Tame ro hyan of a hedain of narodishin. I'm too old to be doing those things. Brams, can you come say hello? Fear means truly, but it means very or very much. So if I say, obviously, fear wa, I'm putting fear with ma, M A I T H, um, which is very good. So it's very good. It's truly good. Ta fear roner, you hear that all the time. Um, it means, I'm very sorry, ta fear roner. Um, yeah, then we had me means like un. So me hosta means unhappy. Kjart is correct, but then mi kjart would be incorrect. Um, then sheer is eternal. So, uh, sorry, the dog is just going outside. Okay, you're not. Sheer is eternal. So, oh, vi sheer heint um, way Aaron Alvershin. Oh, he was, he had forever conversation. He had eternal chatting. Sheer 
Yeffer. Oh, Tosh, being sheer Yefferert. You have an eternal rush on you, like Matasha Igoniert. Um, then we have Kerr, which means like the odd in that in this sense. It means just like the odd person. The way we'd say it in Hibernian English, like oh, the odd time, I would do that. It just means sometimes. So Kerr or. Um, so Kerr or is sometimes. Kerr like the odd person, some people. Kerr Um Kerr. That's enough Kerrs. What about. Oh, ill means um, many. So ill data is like multicolored. Um, ill changach is multilingual. Um, I guess ill ill chredvach would be multidenominational. Data is in a raw free skull. Ill chredvach. Um, then la means half. But if you put it together with one hundred kade. La heid means 50. Um, la hekend means half a second. Oh, by my own again, la hekend. I'll be there in half a second. Um, la runa, this is an interesting one. It's like, it's an insult. You're calling someone half a person. Which you're kind of saying like they're not all there. It's like, oh, you're only a half a person. But I, I love it. It's just, it's just so insulting. You're half a person. Like, I'm a whole person. You're half a person. Like, you're not even... I, I feel like it's insulting, like as well like the amount of work they would do you don't give you the amount of half a person you, you know you're not pulling your own weight kind of thing um la chuna priv is like the main so priv yanga would be the main language priv chahar would be the main city um ord means high so if you put that say with so wrong means class ord wrong is like the highest class um ord humor it would be like i'm in great humor i'm in high spirits uh, ah means re. So when you're saying it's a new year, you actually say ah vlian. So you're saying like re year. I suppose it's like we just reset every January. Please God, can we reset this January? Am I right? Um, but then we have ah horsal, which is uh, recycling. Ah horsal. Um, ah yenov uh, would be like to redo. So I really like ah because um, it just means like re. And it, you can put it in front of anything and it kind of gives you that sense of it's like recurring. Um, then we have so, which is like easily. So if something is um, so yenta, it's easily doable. Tashe so yenta. Tashe so itta, it's um, easily eaten, I suppose. And you wouldn't really say that. So uh, vrishta, it's easily broken. Um, yeah, and then on the other hand, the opposite, you have do. So if you said something is do, Yenta, it's impossible. Do ita, inedible. Um, do, do vrishta, unbreakable. So yeah, so, do and in kind of go together as a trio. So in ita will be edible. So like, ni revshe gajas, och vishe in ita. In dainta is doable. But then it's a slight difference because so yenta is easily doable. But in dainta is like, it's fade, Lynn. We, we can do it. Ach, like, it might not be easy. You might have noticed as I went through that list that when you when you have a base word, so for example, dainta we had, um, then when you put a new word and stick it onto it, that base word gets a shavu. So I always just imagine that shavu as glue. It's it's the H that goes in there. So if we have ban, then it changes to shan van. You put in the shavu. Um, and what else might you have noticed from that list? Sometimes you don't put in a shavu, and that's when the letters the dentals come together. So that's the letters D and T L S. So when one word ends in one of them and the other word starts in one of them, you're not going to put a shavu in. An and ja always have a hyphen. So anavan, ja van always has a hyphen. Hyphens otherwise only by multiple prefixes. So the sample that I have, the example that I have is Druch Hyana Vod. So a a bad old boat. So if the base word is bod, then when you're saying an old boat, it's shan vod. And then when you're saying a bad old boat, it's druk hyan vod. But you can't just put the three of them together. So you actually put the druk with a hyphen and then you say shan vod. If there's two vowels coming together. So if I say ro og, I'll put in a hyphen. But it's not just because it's the same vowel. It's any two vowels coming together. So if I said, um, like when I was saying do itta, like inedible, that got a hyphen. Um... But then also if any of the two letters that are the same come together, so like shannos, um, it's not just one word, you put in a hyphen in between. Shannos. 
So Shane Wemsha, that has been what the fuckle. Um, I hope you learned something from it. And I'll do another one of these videos because I do love talking about Ray Mirna, Ear Virna, Agusela Hid, um, and how Irish words are put together. Um, if you have any questions, I have Facebook and Twitter and a lot of other accounts. Most of the links are on my YouTube account. Subscribe to my YouTube if you want to stay in the loop with all my new videos. And I also have a Patreon now. So I'll be putting my videos there first and I'll be putting up some bonus content. I guess just, and I'll be putting the names of my patrons in my YouTube description boxes from now on. So that's it for me for now. See you soon.